Hello guys, welcome back to NRCAL video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through a footing design. So, I'll just go to add and I'll say general footing. So, I'll write down in my description saying footing or whatever I want. And these are the properties of the concrete for footing so I'll have 3000 PSI as my F dash C my FY will be 60 KSI and in order to calculate concrete elastic modulus I'll use this formula then these are my 5 values and concrete density I'll say I'll have 150 PCF Okay, and the minimum steel ratio I'll keep it as 0 0.0018 that is fine we'll come to this later on going to soil allowable requirements uh, footing base depth below soil surface so the footing base below the soil surface let me select it as 8 feet this is usually we get from soil investigation report and soil density I'll keep it as 110 PCF my allowable bearing pressure I'll have it as 6 KSF and going to next footing data before doing footing data I'll just go to applied loads I'll apply 500 kips dead load 500 kips live load okay now so okay, as you can see the design not good we'll see what dimensions we have we have just one feet by one feet with 12 inch footing thickness so first I'll go in reinforcing and I'll change the reinforcing bar size I'll make it number 9 and I'll have at least 10 numbers for now looks like everything is passing except for the size anyways so I'll go to dimensions I'll increase this by let's try 5 foot by 5 foot so as you see it's failing in one way shear one way shear positive x negative x positive z poor negative z two way punching and soil wearing I'll increase the thickness to 24 it's failing in everything. Let's go and see 10 foot by 10 foot. Okay, going. Alright, when doing apply load, sorry, when doing dimensions, you need to give your pedestal dimensions. I'll have it as 36 inches by 36 inches. now you can see it's still failing let's go and change the reinforcing or you can try using auto calc reinforcing and it will do it it will calculate the size and thickness on its own so you can select whichever size like square or rectangular and I'll select rectangular and it will do the iteration process of trial and error method so you can see it's failing in um, amount of steel required what I'll do is I'll just go to reinforcing and I'll increase the number of bars used so I'll say there are 14 bars so now as you can see everything looks good and the design is okay so you can find soil pressures in here for different load conditions load combinations Overturning, sliding stability, footing bending, footing shear. This is your sketch with rebars. As you can see, 14 number 9 rebars in both the directions. The loads for 500 kips and 500 kips. You can even apply movements over here, which come from the columns. And these are all the load combinations that are that were run by NR Calc. 
okay coming to over here well I can select this or deselect this so consider footing weight when determining soil bearing pressure yes sliding over turning up lift yes I can select this if I want to ignore checks for sliding that way I can consider you see a 9.6.1.1 as minimum reinforcing I can select that and as you can see the minimum reinforcing is less than when comparatively you can reduce overturning effects select that it depends upon you whatever options you want so guys this is how you do design analysis of a footing in an air calc please comment below if you have any questions thank you for watching the video